It looks like Manchester United are set to appoint a new manager in the summer. And for Manny, the race seems to be coming down to Mauricio Pochettino or Eric Ten Hag currently at Ajax. Dean, what's the state of play? Yeah, well, look, Ten Hag is the guy that is in the driving seat right now to take the Man United job. Um, the international break was always looked at by the board as a prime, prime time to, to nail these guys down. Ten Hag, I understand, has been spoken to during the break already. I think Pochettino is due to be as well. Um, it's an interesting balance here because from what I understand, the players at Man United actually prefer the idea of Pochettino coming into the club. But there are board members and the people actually going to make these decisions that think Ten Hag is the right answer for how the club actually want to move forward. So where do you go with that? Because the, one of the big problems United have had in recent times is player power. The players haven't liked certain aspects of Rangnick, for example, and we've heard about leaks coming out into the camp. And when players aren't happy, ultimately they don't play at their best. And if, if Ten Hag comes in and the players don't like him, we'll see the same thing happen all over again. And if they like Pochettino, maybe they should just get him through the door. But ultimately, it doesn't seem to be something uh, they are considering right now. John Murta is leading the process. He was brought into the club, obviously, not too long ago. Uh, he's working with Richard Arnold. Now, I think that in the next week or so, United, at least privately, will have made a decision on who they want. And I, I'm led to believe that at this moment in time, Ten Hag is that guy. It's going to take quite a big swing to go to Pochettino. But yeah, right now, we, we are getting closer to finding out who, who Man United's next manager is. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because you look at how United are set up and you look how Ten Hag has liked to play at Ajax. Now, that doesn't mean it's the only way he can play football, but... It doesn't feel like United are particularly set up to play in that kind of style. And you do wonder if that means, and if they do go with Eric Ten Hag, how much of it is going to be, do we need to reset this squad again in the summer? It. There was a cultural reboot under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And look, in many ways it worked. And United were bonded. You know, They had a t certain type of vision. They were bringing in a certain type of player. They played very reactively. They That's did they play were reactively. At. They had quite an English core to it all. But... Under Ten Hag, I think things might have to change. And yeah, you might be resetting a little again. If you were to bring Pochettino in, you could say, look, the guy has been there and done it. He's, played, he's he got Tottenham to uh, the Champions League, uh, the last stages. He didn't quite win it, but he almost got there. He could bring Harry Kane with him. Like, that's the kind of selling point that you want. And bringing Harry Kane in is obviously like, quite key. But Ten Hag will have a very different approach to that. Mm. I'm not sure half of these United players that... You, as you say, will fit into that. United already looking at a bit of a mini overhaul anyway in the summer. Would be even more so, I think, if Ten Hag came in. Interesting, though, because Ten Hag's well, ability to win trophies is, is proven. Yeah. Pochettino's isn't. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, that's just the way it But is. also, Ten Hag hasn't managed at the same level uh, in terms of pressure as Pochettino no, has. That's really something not. that he'll have to balance. But one positive... He'll now have to get a tune out of Van der Beek and he'll be back at Old Trafford pulling the strings. OK, well, we'll see. We will see who Man United decide they are going to put at the helm next season. We'll be keeping an eye on all those developments here on Live Score.